Pinot Black, ladies and gentlemen, folks, it is Pinot Black, okay? Super Giants. Everybody knows it's real now because they're looking at H1, H2, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and because they have that many cameras, ladies and gentlemen. They only show us what they want to show us, and yes, there's overlay. We know that there's overlay. Most everybody that's come to the site knows there's overlay. The numbers are up. Uh, Karasov still hides. They don't want a lot of people looking at astronomy and knowing what's going on up in space, sun, so forth and so on. We are probably pretty much right at all-time closeness to the sun. Recorded history of man ever. Okay, and as you see, an interesting cluster right there. So we're going to go to that real fast. I got this screen up, pop in at 400, and I even have it at another one if I click around. So we're looking at that, and basically we can see that at two different camera angles. I'm going to go to a sky chart real fast and show you where the moon's at. The moon's down there. Currently, this is sky chart here, and I'm kind of getting sick and tired of wasting video time of people trusting me on time. So more than likely, anybody that knows constellations, they know, yeah, he's showing exactly where it's at. Now we know we have this up here, an object there, right? Our lark. Uh, dark uh, Oort cloud, more than likely. Uh, dark line, as you see even on the constellations, they have a black star, and then those two there. And I don't really care about names, designations, when, even when it comes to constellations, and so forth and so on, okay? So when you go to our friends here, and there you got the link and everything up there, I'm going to do a sound check here real fast, but they are starting to talk about dark matter that they find out there in space, okay? Well, they have a very good view because basically that Oort cloud is over top of one of their webcams and their, all of their, and whether that's just their one telescope there or not, and we'll pump this up to 400% and we'll realize what they look at out there, folks. We are more than likely alone, okay? Intelligent life or communication problems, and that probably is the secret of everything, okay? Big money here on Earth, trading stocks, secret of language talk. Uh, being all black, yes. SCADA. Supervisory control and data acquisition. Yep, know it all. So, there is the basically the biggest money thing in the world, folks, is if you can communicate somebody silently. Okay? Uh, FYI, if you are an astrologer and you know that they have pictures of things in space and we know that they listen in space, where the hell do you think they, they can't hear in at? Okay? So they zoom in on this stuff way out in space, and they find, oh, we got another planet, we got another moon, and stuff. So yeah, they got all kinds. There's all kinds of them out there, folks. They can keep you dizzy and dizzy. The idea is the heat index and the distance from the sun. Okay, and I think I can take you to. We'll go to uh, latest image here. I've got one where the on three. Now you, you see, we know that that's there all the time. That one's one of those remnants of the of the sun. We know that they're blocking this on that side of the sun right now, okay, today's date. Okay, all the way to that left side, they're blocking on that navy shot, okay. Now, there's interesting stuff. We go ahead and go to three. And I don't take time to edit and everything like that. I just plop around, try to just get everything as much information, because basically most everybody's technical. So more than likely, that's our dark planet and our long ort that's out there in space. And yes, we caught it today, ladies and gentlemen, okay. They've got it on the three behind, Lasco, January 12th, okay. So basically, I'm going to click a photo and click you guys stop for it. So yes, folks, directly from the sun, okay, we rotate to the east, and there is our, right at this time, I'm going to go to the shot on Navy real fast. So plop over to Navy, and there you go. I plopped it up to 1,000%. That's what we just looked at on this shot here. I'll plop out, and I'll click out, and we basically know we got this stuff, okay? It's constellation maps. It's uh, more than likely the Oort cloud. I could be wrong on it being the Oort cloud. But and we go back to like I'll give you like 200%. We're looking at the sun, okay? We know Earth is over here to the right, okay? We're somewhere, and this is massive territory, trillions of miles, folks, here to here, okay? But we get that stuff reflected down to it now. Is it directly? We we always see the angles, and we know that the the satellites are not directly behind the sun, but we know that with their mirrors and technology, like what they're doing with the moon and what we've caught. And yes, everybody knows I'm very factual because yeah, so big deal. The military. It's not going to announce something unless they know they already got it operational. So we caught Soho catching their own satellites up in space, okay? So this is current night, uh, right now. And then uh, ba basically I'm lying to you. I screwed up on that, okay? What I'm looking at on this de deal, and uh, we have uh, the, the nighttime sky time. I went ahead and did the UTC time for our shots at Fireball. So let's go to Fireball. And basically, you're going to see that we do know that we are catching the uh, shadows of planets between us 
and the sun. Uh, that 12 UTC is something like, uh, 12, 13 UTC is something like, and then basically when you have it here, when I have it on smaller resignation, you can see the shadow from a large planet out in space. Now that could be Jupiter, quite possibly there, okay? But then you also have that shadow that you can see right there, and we've seen the image in the pictures that I showed earlier when I found it, because I hurried up and threw it up, and I was like, holy crap. And yes, more than likely, that's one of the masses. It's one of M45 or so forth and so on. And when you go to my channel, you'll have my web link, my, my pirate channel, and then also there'll be a link of, uh, let me go to it real fast. And actually not, I always kind of screwing up when I'm recording. So we're going to show you the current UTC time and everything like that. This is current here. Matter of fact, I can click it. It'll be a couple minutes difference. So you'll have a UTC time order recording. And we had a, the 5.4, 5.2. Everything is close to a 5, okay, if it's anything above 3, okay. And we had a 3 in South Dakota right there, okay, last yesterday afternoon or yesterday, two, an evening ago, ago okay, that 3.0 in South Dakota, okay. So, and it's not on the news, you know that. They're not going to let anybody get knowledgeable because knowledge is fear for idiots, okay. There's nothing to fear but fear itself, and there's nothing to fear because you have the ability to defend yourself at all times. People are just like crazy. I'm scared of everybody all the time. Okay, so uh, fear on rats. It shouldn't be, but the idea that it is there. The only thing it is, some would be fearful, would be the idea that if you got a young kid, unbirthed, sectarian, uh radiation is not good. And basically, there you go to itchy site that I've showed and promoted and so forth, and there is not good news for... Now, we have this constellation here that we're seeing on Soho that they're looking at, okay, that you can basically see. You can't miss it. It's huge. Look at all the area that it takes up, okay, and the supergiants are huge because more than likely the sun is down here low. It's probably this right in here and going in, okay. There's supergiant activity and everything like that. Oh, that's just the sun. The sun's massive. Yes, the sun's massive, but the supergiants are all real and they are massive, okay, as i.e. we're looking off into space and these scientists here at that website will tell you the truth. They talk about dark, dark matter and so forth. We know that we got uh, M45 or whatever out there. Okay, M45. There's lots of M45s, and there's I think M50, M55. I'm, I might be messing up on numbers and stuff. It doesn't matter. And then they redesignate. You can see this huge object right there. Now I had a better picture a while back, and basically you just got to keep watching all my movies, and you would have seen it. And you can just you can't miss it right there. I mean, you got full screen and you can see it. And that's not the m moon, and it's not a reflection of the moon. And the moon's not that goddamn big in our night sky. The moon's right flipping there. And basically, that uh, yeah, that sky chart that I had, that was it. The moon's down there at that time, okay? Because I put this in for like 12, uh, 12.30 p.m., okay? So there's all kinds of ways to, to astronomers' sites and stuff like that. I like staying scientifically right down to the data because all the astronomers and the telescopes out there put all that stuff in and it all gets caught by these. Uh, now, you got that there. Okay, that we're looking at because it's constellations. I don't care about names and so forth and so on. You go over to this shot, you can see it there from the other side, okay? Because basically we know that one satellite's on one side and the other satellite's shooting on the other side, okay? Angles or whatever. Now, we are getting this signature from out there in space on what's getting banged into and so forth because we're getting the dark light through this, the supergiant's light, okay? And yes, folks, that's supergiant's because the sun is huge. I'm not disadmitting that. But more than likely, the sun probably doesn't put off anything more than about like right there. And I'm probably exaggerating there because it's probably just about like right there that the sun puts off. Remember, everything's a star. Okay, so we'll go to some temperatures on some stuff. Uh, asteroid location, okay, and then the impacts and times and discoveries, okay. This is a list of all your asteroids that are out there, like 100 that are close to Earth, okay. Not lying about any of these. And there's a little bit of some of the names I'm missing to the right a little bit. I basically offer sharing. I'll go over there because we're educating and sharing. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and we'll plop. And that's kind of screwy. I'm, I beg your apology, but I just know the time ticker in the way on the recording. So all these asteroids are out there. And basically, I'm just going to take one of the ones that's on the top of the list that basically, and we'll show you technical information and so forth. And we know all this stuff's out there. There's tons of stars in the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of asteroid belts basically melding together right now. Okay, and they don't like you to look at this stuff, even though, because there's, and it's truthful, this stuff is tons of miles away. Look how far the sun is away. The sun's in the well, Mars was way the hell over there, and i.e. going to our basically even not very current map, but the idea that this is probably where everything was sitting. 
Okay, so you got Saturn, Mars. Okay, and that was the last evening. And I think, and no, not this one, folks, but do, asteroids do hit the Earth all the time, small ones. Now, when a bigger one will hit, we'll let you know more than likely, okay? There's a diameter of, I'm not even going to say the name. You can see it there. I'm not going to screw around saying names wrong, okay? Got the kinetic energy of TNT when it hits the Earth, initial impact diameter, asteroid. This stuff has all hit the Earth before. They even know it. Okay, they figured it out scientifically. Okay, they can track stuff. Yes, they can figure histories of objects out by their orbit through space and time and constellation maps that everybody has gotten along and talked together. Okay, so this stuff will make a crater, so forth, impact, diameter. Okay, thermal exposure, and basically. You can even go to where the damn thing is in the sky right now, okay? And no matter what, when we look at the H1 and the H2 and everything like that, all this stuff is out there, okay? That's why you watch the close objects that we are talking about that's in space. And then we go over here to Habib. I think I'm saying Habib right, okay? They keep an eye on this stuff all the time. The astronomers are always tracking this stuff and letting everything know what the heck's going to happen, okay? Now that one's 115 point something impact, initial impact diameter of Habib. And then they got it down to the cubic feet, the tons, kinetic energy, and so forth and so on. And they keep an eye on all this stuff, okay? Yes, they're going to know they've got power, money, and control. That's why astronomers and have are always friendly with big, rich people because the idea that the IE, the telescopes in a certain southern state, uh, railroad money, okay? Big oil money, okay? Basically, and then all over the world, folks, big money. They have scientists, they have astronomers, physicists, always looking at this stuff in space because they know that it's hit the ground before, okay? Not trying to scare anybody that anything's going to hit imminently. So they watch peak wind velocity on it and everything like that. So infinity, yes, in infinite time, stuff is always going to, history is going to repeat itself. Stuff that's going to come around in space is going to redo this to the moon, this, that, or whatever is ran into, whatever, because they're in their trajectory. They're in there just like what they're talking about, and the, pretty much the bullshit on Phobos is probably to cover up the idea that they probably know that one of the, uh, R, go to RSOE, keep a track on all the close, there's probably going to be a large asteroid which would be probably small and won't do the much damage or a damn thing, but there'll probably be a huge crater or something somewhere, and there probably maybe already has, and they probably covered it up. We do know that down at Antarctica that they are mining asteroids out of the snow, ladies and gentlemen, okay? They are going out with the snowmobiles and out with those little snow machines and picking up asteroid material, okay? Now let me go to the pictures real fast and watch the next video. And yes, from a recent shot, the latest, see if you can find it, and it's been there for quite a while, and I've got to find, okay? Right there, right there. Some astronomers, real rich and famous, this, that, or whatever, need to start talking to me, because I got names for stuff. I find this stuff, I date it, it's mine, I name them, okay? Goodbye. And yes, Ar Arcturus, and our other objects that we've been seeing out there in space, and the supergiants, and I've got another one that I took a picture of when I go to pictures here. And there you go. And basically around HIP 72848, and basically we know the sun's probably back here somewhere with either Rigel Cantaris, I believe A, which Rigel Cantaris, Cantaris is usually A, is usually way the hell back here, and it's moved all the way the hell up here. And yes, what's beginning to be interesting is time through space of those objects out there and the supergiants and the sun. Because we know we're getting this light propagation off the supergiants and shit's hitting the fan out there in the supergiants, okay? And they are 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. Those suns, those stars there. There's also dead planets that are bumping into stars. And you get this light propagation off of the supergiants. It's not just the sun. Okay? Everything's safe. We're not going to lose suns. If anything, it's going to get warmer. But also, there's a cooling trend because we might just end up with a cooler star than the sun, ladies and gentlemen. I.e. like the one. And like I showed you, we have miniature eclipses down here. And here it is. Bam. That's an eclipse of, and who knows, moon and another planet. Maybe Venus, because those times right there will match. You watch the time and the clock on the photos, and yep, bam, bam, darkness. Now, there's also objects that we're seeing in the lower sky on that other camera, okay? Yeah, so if you see all these pictures, all this stuff, I zoomed in on it, and basically you can see this stuff is showing up in the sky out there, okay? Tons of stars burning through the clouds, folks, in Antarctica, okay? 
more Antarctica next video.